Here is my Universal Design for Learning presentation by Jeff Fortes. I'm using a program called Demo Creator and I would like to use a step-by-step -step tutorial to help with my building resources of part one and two. Sharing Ideas, Part 1 and Part 2. This is um, Part 1 Resources. Basically it talks about the UDL with um, blogs and student um, information, strengths, weaknesses, and learning styles. The link provides various ideas and information. Also, I was able to find blogs and other resources for part one. Here are some various links and blogs that teachers have made about their lessons. Okay, my resources for part two. Sharing ideas, building resources, part two. We have summarized what brain research tells us about learning differences. Dr. David Rose explains that the brain research tells us that our brain is a big network that learns in three different ways. First, we have recognition network that allows the human brain to process patterns such as recognizing the smell of coffee or identifying a song. Secondly, we have strategic network which allows the human brain to process actions and plans such as writing an essay or solving a math problem. Thirdly, we have effective network which allows the human brain to have emotional and evaluate patterns such as identifying what's important or what makes us fearful. Also, Dr. David Rose broke down three kinds of flexibilities that provide multiple ways to present information, offer multiple ways to express oneself, and provide multiple means of engagement. These three flex flexibilities are very important to remember when working with autistic and HDAC children in the classroom. Explain the implications of those differences for instruction and learning. How does UDLA support culture, ethnic, linguistic, and academic diversity? The implications of those differences for instruction and learning vary by brain activity. It is an, a fact that not everyone thinks alike and doesn't have the capacity to learn the same way. Rosen Meyer mentioned there is no such thing as a one-size-fits-all media and method when it comes to learning in the classroom. 
All students learn differently. Therefore, the UDL system allows four different teaching methods to teach in the classroom. The UDL system provides differentiated instruction to support recognition learning, strategic learning, and effective learning. All these three UDL systems teaching methods provide support to culture, ethnic, linguistic, and academic diversity. Mostly, most importantly, it provides multiple opportunities in a range of modeling and scaffolding learning objectives to students. Expand your explanation of the central role of technology in UDL to address the brain research and instruction implications. Dr. Rose mentions that effective network evaluates patterns provide multiple means of engagement. Recognition network provides multiple representation. Strategic network offer means of expression and effective network process emotions. Evaluate pattern provide multiple means of engagement. The role of technology, learning tools, and resources will allow teachers to help students of diversity needs. The three types of learning will fit numerous opportunities for students to view information. Students are given the opportunity to practice their skill conceptually. And lastly, students will be able to analyze the task or problems. Here are three resources that I will use in my classroom. One resource from CAST is Goal Setter. Um, this is a good way to set your goals for your classroom and students. The second UDL curriculum barriers finder. This allows teachers to gather information and it's also a good tool to help teachers and students overcome those difficult challenges and to be successful in the classroom. The third is the lesson builder. This one is a good way to create lessons and motivate and engage student learning. Also you can modify it according to the students needs as years go on. Above all, these resources will be very useful at my school site. It will help teachers plan, be successful, it will help teachers overcome barriers and help out long-term planning and modifying lessons for student engagement and to be successful. And this concludes my presentation.